Hey friends, welcome back to Holistic Health at Home. Welcome to this channel if you're new. My name is Leslie and I'm a certified detoxification specialist here to talk to you guys about all things holistic health that you can do at home to reclaim your health and your life. Before we get into today's video, I wanted to share some really exciting news with you guys that will explain my silence the last almost two months. I've been working diligently to launch my health business and officially want to share with you guys my new company, Whole Talks, where we take a holistic approach to detoxification. At Whole Talks, our mission is to provide you better health one plate at a time. Whole Talks is the process of detoxifying the body in a holistic manner through plant-based nutrition, herbal protocols, and moderate exercise. I offer customized herbal protocols coupled with diet recommendations as well as lifestyle coaching to correct health conditions. You can find me at whole-talks.com, that is h-o-l-t-o-x.com. You can choose your own tailored herbal protocol, single sessions, and even an eight-week detox program where we dig deep to discover and remedy imbalances in the body. Now with that said, I really want to get into today's video and this is the perfect segue into today's video. I realized that I have never shared my own personal health journey even under my old channel name, Nerds and Nutrition. So I thought that it would be perfect to highlight the power of lifestyle change to reclaim your health and your life. So let's get into it. My personal health journey began the moment I came into this world. I was born premature and jaundice and was one week old before my parents could even bring me home. At age three, I was diagnosed with severe asthma and allergies. And to say severe is kind of an understatement. My very young years were spent in and out of the doctor's office, allergy specialists, the hospital. There were countless emergency breathing treatments. And in middle school, elementary school, I sported a very fancy fanny pack to carry my emergency inhaler with me everywhere I went. Even as a young girl, I was overweight and struggling with my own health issues. I couldn't run in gym class without using my emergency inhaler. I couldn't pet a cat without having to take an emergency breathing treatment. Throughout my preteen years, my health continued to decline but silently, I didn't realize what was happening. Even though I was still gaining weight, I thought that was just a normal part of growing up. When I was 12 years old, I was diagnosed with PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. It turns out that I had several cysts on both of my ovaries and my doctors immediately placed me on hormonal birth control, saying that the pill would dissolve those cysts and prevent them from coming back. I would stay on hormonal birth control for the next 17 years. My passion for health and nutrition doesn't just stem from my personal health struggles, but it really came from watching my close family struggle with their health. From a young age, I visited family in nursing homes, in hospitals. When I was a young girl, my mother was disabled at work and suffered permanent nerve damage. And I've also watched my father battle non-Hodgkin's lymphoma twice. The first time in kindergarten, second time freshman year of college. I became determined to research how food affects the body, how we can support the body in getting stronger and getting healthier. And it is throughout that research that my personal health really started to turn around. Based on the research that I was doing in my teens, I decided to cut out dairy milk because frankly, I was tired of being lactose intolerant, but all the research that I was doing pointed to the fact that dairy is very mucus forming and very inflammatory in the body. Now, after cutting out dairy milk, I immediately noticed that my asthma was starting to improve. I couldn't quite stop my asthmatic medication, but I could start to run more. I could start to take on more physical activity and not have to rely on my inhaler as much. I started to notice real differences in my health. Despite cutting dairy milk out of my diet, I was still eating a ton of inflammatory and mucus forming foods. I mean, you name it guys, I was eating it. Cheese, meat, yogurt, ice cream, anything and everything, just not dairy milk. In my early 20s, I was more than 40 pounds overweight, 
with an alarming cholesterol reading of 262 with triglycerides off the charts. I was exhibiting pre-diabetic symptoms. You name it guys, night sweats, frequent urination, hyperskin pigmentation, anxiety and depression riddled me to the point I could barely function. After a DNC and laparoscopy in my mid-20s to check for possible endometriosis, the doctors did find a couple benign polyps on my uterus. Fortunately, there was no endometriosis, but it was only a matter of time given my family history and the symptoms that I was exhibiting. I knew it was time for a change. I finally transitioned to a fully plant-based diet. Now, admittedly at that time, guys, I was still eating a ton of shit. Faux meats, faux cheeses. I would go to a pizza joint down the road and get a big vegan pizza and split it with a couple friends. I noticed that although my asthma was improving, I still didn't feel quite right. I didn't feel as good as I knew I could feel. And something weird, I had started to develop some fake paper cuts on my fingertips and was suffering really bad GI discomfort, bloating, gas, and just all around stomach pain most of the time. I visited a naturopath who suggested food sensitivity testing and through that testing found that I had a very big sensitivity to almonds and soy, two things that I had been eating a lot of. After adopting a whole food plant-based diet and cutting out the foods that my body was sensitive to at the time, the fake paper cuts disappeared. The bloating and the gas went away. My skin cleared up. The weight that I was struggling to lose melted off with no exercise. And my cholesterol dropped an amazing 100 points. I could literally feel the inflammation disappearing in my body and I knew that my body was ready for a deeper level of healing. It was then that I was finally able to stop taking my lifelong asthma medication and I finally ditched the hormonal birth control pill which I had been on for 17 years. For all of my lady friends out there who may be curious, I have been able to successfully regulate my hormones the last four years without the birth control pill. I have regular cycles and have not had a recurrence of PCOS. And that brings us to current day. In closing, my friends, I'd like to say that the lifestyle changes you make today will pay dividends tomorrow. Now granted, these lifestyle changes aren't always easy. They're not always convenient, but the payoff is priceless. I hope you got something from today's video, and if there are any topics that you would like me to cover, drop a line in the comments below and let's keep this conversation rolling. That's it for today, guys. Thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you want more. I'm Leslie, sending you love and health.